What's going on, Freedom Fam? It's your boy Joe, and we are back again with the side hustle series. All right. Last last time we spoke about doing a mobile detailing or car washing service as a side hustle. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit more special. Let's just get right into it. Another side hustle that I can tell you guys about, and um, I have personal experience with this one as well, so I can give you guys a little bit more in-depth information about this one. But the side hustle we're gonna talk about today is starting your own photography or videography business, all right? A few key things you need to know. It's not gonna be a long video, but a few key things you need to know when you're starting your photography or videography business. Number one, people like to see your previous work. So what I would suggest, is start an Instagram page that showcases your pictures, shows off all the stuff you know you know how to do. Um, it shows the the type of art that you're going for because with photography, it's pretty subjective. I mean, there's no one size fits all when it comes to photography. So you have to show your vision through the camera and you need to make an Instagram page that can show off all the pictures that you've taken, all the things that you've done. Or if you're doing videos, same thing. All right, that's one thing. Number two, something that I would suggest every um, up and coming for photographer and videographer do is to go on YouTube and look up, because mind you, good equipment is expensive. So go on YouTube and look up starter uh, cameras, starter lenses, um, essentials to getting started, things like that for beginners, stuff like that, because those are the things that's gonna catapult you into getting up to the expensive stuff. You start small, you work your way up. So for example, when I started my photography business, I started with a Canon Rebel T3i, camera sucks, honestly. Uh, the next camera I got after that was a Canon um, T7i, you know what I'm saying? So I'm work I was working my way up. Um, but yeah, so make sure you go on YouTube, look up cameras that um, are good for beginners, good for starting out, getting into it, lenses as well. I had, um, it came with the 18 to 55 millimeter um, kit lens. Then I upgraded and got a 50 mil. I got an 85 um, and I had a 24 millimeter as well. So I, you, you work your way up, look at the kind of equipment that you need for what you're doing. Because for example, um, you might not be doing portraits. You might be doing landscape. So you might need a longer lens. You know what I'm saying? You might not be doing landscape. You might be doing product photography. You know what I'm saying? So you need a closer, sharper lens. Or you can even be doing product photography with the long lens as well, depending on the... Uh, type of market you're getting yourself into so know what market you're getting into and then look up what equipment you're going to need for that another thing i would suggest if you're getting into cameras and um, photography and videography learn the software and when i say learn the software i'm talking about the photoshops the the light rooms you know what i'm saying the the premiere pros the the final cut pros learn the software that's associated with your um, market. If you're doing pictures, learn how to do how to use Photoshop. Please learn how to use Lightroom. Please. There's so many other um, things out there as well. Uh, camera Raw. Learn how to use Camera Raw. Um, if you're doing videos, learn how to use Premiere Pro. Learn how to use Final Cut. Learn how to use Vegas. Just get familiar with the software because not only can you be making money on the front end with taking pictures, you're also making money on the back end with editing. You're not only making money doing videos, but you're also making money editing. So make sure you learn the software because that's extra money that could be going into your pockets. Um, I know one person right now, I know him very well, he does weddings. He only does weddings. And he's as, as kind of smart because, you know, weddings, that's, that's where the budget's at. That's where the big money's at. He makes um, upwards of anywhere from 8000 a night to 10000 a night. Two events. You have the wedding and you have the reception. He's making 8000 for two events in one night just doing weddings. And that's just... That's a regular, that's not even a, um, a um, super high class photographer. He's just really good at what he does, but um, he's making about 8,000, one wedding. You know what I'm saying? There's so many things that people um, hire photographers for that there's no reason you guys shouldn't be pulling about a couple thousand a month, <laughs> depending on your hustle, depending on how hard you hustle. But anyway, this has been Side Hustle Series. Today we talked about photos and videos, getting into photography and videography. If this helped you, leave a like, share, um, comment below, hit the subscribe button so we know that you love us. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be doing this series until there's no more side hustles to cover. So tune in guys, we're gonna be here. Freedom Fam, I'm out.